हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो सो टूडेज वीडियो एजेंडा इज टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेवॉप्स रोड मैप एंड देन सम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ गिटअप एक्शन सो वाई आई एम डिस्कसिंग डेवॉप्स रोड मैप आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ शॉर्ट ऑन डेवॉप्स रोड मैप बट यू नो न्यू सब्सक्राइबर्स आर गेटिंग एड टू आर चैनल so they i have been getting this comments that please can you tell us about uh, how, how we can start a devops journey from where we can start our learning so uh, for your reference i have made devops free learning resources video in the description box i have given all the links from where you can go and start your journey beside how you should start your journey like which tool you should start first and in which sequence you should go that i'll tell you today so that uh, you don't miss out anything like if you start any tool so you should not feel like this tool i should know uh, before starting this so sequence should be maintained so first of all for starting you should start with linux command linux yeah how you should start understanding the linux server how it is the file structure the everything how the disk are mounted and the linux commands how we can troubleshoot any error like how to find out the uh you know uh, how to find out the cp utilization memory utilization how to ping any ip address if we need to check the connectivity how to check the open ports so everything you should uh, you know every commands related to user management then uh, you know uh, the uh, process management then the file then everything you should know around the linux com servers and linux command then you can proceed ahead with shell scripting in shell scripting how you write a, a full script using the linux commands so you from by now you have uh, you know uh, about the linux servers and their commands you have understood all that now you have to write a script for it uh, using those commands you know you should know looping how to store uh, in array and you know uh, how to find like there are grep commands or commands which help us to you know uh, process our output and how we need it in a specific way so there uh, so these should be know in shell scripting after shell scripting you proceed ahead with git and github command uh, git commands and github so in git command like there are various git commands how we will uh, initialize the area working area staging area local repo then how we'll commit our files how we lay how we will add how we will pull how we will push you should know every command of git then comes to practice you can create like how to create a repository in your github account how will you create it how will you uh, you know keep your uh, application uh, your code over there uh, about a, what is readme what is git ignore dot git ignore how will you organize and then uh, you know everything regarding how will you create your uh, token from github so you should know how to manage your source code and everything and try the git commands in the github okay uh try writing code using visual studio normal code and then you know try out the git commands over there this is done even in github we have code spaces so if you don't have visual studio code you can use code space over there and try out the command after all these things are done then go for you know jenkins or any github actions in github action is uh, provided in github only so you don't need to install anything and nowadays github action is also or gitlab ci or bitbucket any tool you can choose the basic thing is that you should know how to create a ci cd pipeline because that concept remain the same so once you install jenkins or anything github action you don't need to install anything you can just start creating your pipeline so start creating from little things first of all try to check out the code from github first uh, try to that then after check out the code you try to build the code if uh, it's a python if it's a node js if it's a java code then uh, accordingly you can use maven npm whatever it the uh, code is you can build the code then push it to docker hub and everything try adding on little little steps 
once you know about you know about jenkins how to install it how it works and where what is plugin uh, what is how you can store credentials over there and you know how you can um, um, uh, manage secrets everything how how to how you can create parameterized pipeline what is active choice plugin everything you know about the pipeline now now go ahead with any cloud you know explore cloud because cloud is important when you uh, learn cloud uh, like the basic service like creating an instance so what is subnet and what is you know uh, vpc vnet and how networking works because networking is also very important like if you are creating any instance in a private network so how will you establish a uh, connection to the outside world or how, how will you if people want to access that server then how will you establish it so this all comes under networking and you know system design that how will you keep your how will you design your uh, system your arch what will be the architecture like where will be the database there so three tier architecture five tier architecture where we will keep our databases where we will keep our instance where will be our ui how we will establish the connections okay so after learning cloud after learning networking after learning you know ip addresses and you know how you assign ip addresses cidr block everything see about little bit about security that how gateways are there how uh, you know uh, the gateways and then peering happens how everything after knowing everything the load balancers um, then the route aws route the dns record let uh, all these things after knowing the services major major services then you move to docker and uh, how you how will you create a docker file and then how you push it to docker hub and what kind of you know what commands uh, what all commands are there like what all commands that we are using docker file what is the use of the, those commands and how we are going to use it after understanding docker then go to kubernetes after kubernetes then go to you know terraform you can start learning terraform or anything and uh, then after terraform is done uh, after practicing then go for ansible and ansible is optional like it is not very much required in uh, organization if you know then also good if you don't know then also it's fine and uh, also in Pyth uh, nowadays python is also in demand so you can uh, start doing like if everything is done and you think like that uh, should we go you can start doing python learning python scripting too uh, that is one of the thing and apart from this uh, these are the major things that you should know like for then you should you can learn about the uh, argo cd flux cd for the deployment part like how you can do the deployment uh, automatic deployment using argo cd and flux cd that you can uh, start so in this way uh, like uh, after you uh, start knowing all the tools you can start creating that pipeline after knowing all the tools then you can start uh, including the security things like the sonar cube trivi uh, okay and all this thing in your pipeline so this should be the roadmap and i've explained everything in detail also so that it's very clear and easy for all of you so let's go ahead with the interview question for github actions so yeah on github is like how do you implement a ci cd pipeline using github action like uh how have you stored your uh workflow where dot github folder inside the workflow folder you have your all the yaml github action uh workflows and from there you have you know um uh, on this event which event you have uh, written that if it is a push event or workflow dispatch whatever it is it will trigger a pipeline and what all stages you have what all jobs what all steps you have included in your pipeline that you should uh, tell
file in this then how do you handle rollback in a deployment pipeline using github action like how are you storing all the version how is versioning maintained and then if any issue occurs in there then how have you written a workflow to rollback that you should explain then how uh, have you integrated github action with external tool like slack aws or docker or jira because for every pipeline there should be a proper ticket created so how have you integrated it with jira or slack or anything that uh, that you that is a uh, workflow that is uh, followed in organization so you should know then what are self-hosted runner and when you should you use them because when we don't want the code to because every time the runner uh, gets changed so that the code the work that we have done get lost so that time we know uh, we uh, you know uh, there are uh, github hosted runner then a self-hosted runner so why we, we should use them that you can explain how do you manage deployment to multiple environments like do you have any inputs or do you have any uh, different uh, github action workflow for it then I, I explain how to create and publish a custom github action because you can also create a custom github action that you can use in your workflows then how would you debug a failing github action workflow there on output there there is a console output where you can see the errors and how uh, then accordingly to the errors you can work upon and what are the security bits best practicing github action like how will you store your secrets and vari uh, variables and everything and who can run the pipeline how will you uh, manage the access and everything so that you can tell in this uh, question so these are some of the questions related to interview uh, on github actions so yeah that's all so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye